Hi there, thanks for joining me for the instructional video on the new SDR online work order. Uh, please ensure that you have your links handy that were emailed to you or sent to you, however you got them, um, so you can access. So once you can navigate to your links that were given over to you, you'll go ahead and click the work order. This will take you to an online version. Um, just a browser of your choice. There's no special mobile app required. Um, and this form should eliminate lag time for submissions, missing information, photos. Uh, they're easy to use, intuitive with field selections, and you will be automatically sent a copy of all form submissions. Uh, it's going to eliminate any need to carry hard copy work orders and the problems that come with them, like running out of copies, missing paperwork, and responsibility for submitting them. Um, it should also eliminate a lot of time for organizing and submitting through email channels. The only document you really need to submit now is your invoice when the truck roll is complete. Um, so once you're at the, the work order online, uh, you'll notice that the first field is a time and date stamp. It's got a red asterisk next to it. Those fields will be mandatory. Uh, this is an auto fill. Uh, the date and the time where you open the work order automatically fills in. Technician info. Um, if you would, please put in your information. Email is very important because this is how you're going to get a copy of this whole submission. If you have a supervisor that uh, you need to have things sent to, uh, go ahead and place in this field. If you have another alternate email, um, any emails that you put in these fields are going to be submitted this form that we're working on right now. So if you have a, another manager, like I said, alter an email, go ahead and throw it in there. Site information is going to be your, your site that you're at. Site contact is your point of contract. Account number will have you will have it on your paperwork that you were dispatched. It's not a mandatory field, but we would appreciate it if you put it in there. Address, just go ahead and fill it in. Job type, this will, um, you have a couple different pull downs here. If you select site survey, this will pretty much just for just be for a work order or just for a signature based on that site survey. So a lot of fields will, dis will disappear. If you select service, installation, or upgrade, you're going to notice there are some additional fields in here that need to be filled in. Uh, so we'll, we'll do a service here, description of services performed. What was done on site, realign dish, equipment installed, um, let's say that you used an LNB. Equipment needed to be shipped to the site for resolution, we'll put none. Tech equipment replacement, let's say that you used that SL5 from your truck, so. You want an SL5 LNB to be returned to you, to be replaced. Any notes? Roof work done. Dish needed to be aligned. LNB was damaged. So it's pretty simple. Um, from here, you just collect the 
check the checkbox that the work is done in a satisfactory manner so the customer can sign. So from here, you just touch the uh, customer signature field and then just have them fill it in. If uh, it doesn't work, you can hit clear and then they can start over. Technician signature, that's you. And for all service calls, you're going to see completion photo is required. Um, give us a photo of a working TV or something similar to that. Um, we're just going to go ahead and click choose the field. Um, all of these fields for the photos and the files, you have five uploads you can do for each. So you can attach 15 files to each work order if you like. I'm not saying you need to do all 15, but it is there if you need. So we'll choose field, we'll go to our photo library, and I have a couple photos here. We can see a couple working TV photos, so we'll attach those. Uh, we won't need any additional completion photos, we won't have any additional file uploads. And as of now, as long as you have everything filled in with the red asterisk, you are good to go. If for some reason you wanted to save this, um, for any reason, you have a link here that you can email to yourself and you can pick up where you left off and then submit at a later date. But we ask that work orders are done on site and submitted after customer signature, just so it bounces off to everywhere it needs to be and um, everybody's done and knows that the job is complete. So we'll go ahead and click submit here. Um, it'll give you an auto response. It says your response has been submitted. Uh, where it says add another response, but just bring up the work order again for, so you can fill out a new work order. Uh, and you could also download your response as a PDF. So you're going to be emailed this because of the email body, but you'll see right away uh, it downloads a work order with all the information that you put into this. It also has the customer signature, your signature, and photos attached as thumbnails. So it's a pretty thorough document just for a work order. Uh, it gets sent to SDR and it gets sent to yourself and your manager, anybody you put in there. Um, so from here, we'll go ahead and check our email. And you should notice that you've already received an email and it is right here. So we got an email stating that, yeah, wow, well, it's submitted for this specific site on this date at this time. It's got all the information that you submitted in the email body. It also has options where you can download the photos or you can download that PDF. Um, again, it's the same one that you can download right from the website, but it's sent right to your email. So at this point, all you really need to do is uh, submit your invoice for the truck roll. And that's pretty much it. It takes place of our paper, paper, you know, our paperwork, hard copy. And uh, this is hopefully going to increase efficiencies for everybody across the board. Uh, we spent a lot of time invested in this to make it a good product for not just SDR, but our field partners out there um, to make it nice and easy. So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and give me a call. Office number is 734-338-9006. And my cell phone, if you need to reach me, is 248-767-3502. Thanks a lot.